Hey y'all, Iron Eagle here. So this time we're going to talk about AGM 65 Mavericks. In particular, about the AGM 65 Delta on the Viper. So this is a little tricky thing, especially if you cold start the F-16 like uh, I am about to do here. Um, you will get a slightly offset from your Maverick to your TGP, which uh, needs some boresight alignment for the Maverick. And we're going to get in that, uh, into that too. So let me hop into the jet and start the startup procedure. And I'm gonna come back to you when uh, the jet is up and running. So here we are in the cockpit of the Viper. Uh, everything's set up and ready to go. So let's go ahead and um, start aligning the, the Maverick to the TGP. So first of all, let's throw the master arm switch into simulate mode and put the ground jettison to enable. On my left MFD, I'm gonna, or first we're gonna go into air to ground mode. And on my left MFD, I'm gonna utilize the test uh, OSB down here and put the TGP on. And um, on the on the right side, I'm gonna turn on the power of the Maverick, and I'm gonna throw this into pre mode. So this will take a couple minutes to um, cool down the Mavericks. On the other hand, we already have our TGP up and running. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw this thing into snowplow mode. So we're basically looking um, at the Viper that is right in front of us. So what I want to do is I want to make the DMS down short, or DMS aft short, and I'm going to align my um, crosshair, my targeting crosshair, to the nose wheel of the F-16 that is right in front of us. So I'm going to go DMS right short to throw it into area mode. And we're going to move this. Let's go to FOV expand Let's go here. And I'm going to place this right here um, on the bottom of the nose wheel of the F 16. So I'm going to leave it here right now. And um, what we're going to do is we are utilizing this information. Uh, we're going to leave the TGP over here. And we are coming over to this OSB, which is clear, double tap it, just hit it twice, and throw the weapon up on it. So the thing is, the, the cooldown um, progress is still running, so we got to wait for this until um, you will see uh, the IR display of the Maverick of Station 3. So right now, Station 3 is selected. And what we're going to do is we align station three, and then we're going to switch over to station seven, and we're doing the same. So you do not have to do this for each and every single um, Maverick on each station, but you have to do the um, boresight alignment for each station. So no matter if you have two or three of them on one pylon, so if there are two on station three or two on station seven, you only have to do the boresight for the station itself. All right. So I'm going to pause the video and come back uh, when the weapon is ready, and um, let's go. So here we are again, and as you can see, the weapon is ready now. You can see the IR image of the seeker hat of the Maverick on Station 3 right now, and uh, we can switch over to Station 7 as well, and you see that you get a little angle view from either side. So. Station 3 is on the left wing, so you get a little angle off to the right, and switching over to 7, get a little angle off to the left. So let's start with Station 7, which is fairly good enough, and um, we are going to FOV here too, and what we want to basically do is take this center cross and place it at the exact, or almost the exact same position as where our TGP is looking at. Let's do that. First of all, let's make the um, make the Maverick soy, so the right MFD soy with DMS aft short, 
AAC, the white bars. Uh, the white frame is on our MFD. And now slew the Maverick um, to the exact same position, or roughly this, uh, roughly the same position as we have it over on the TGP. So looks about good. And what we want to do is TMS forward short. And it's a little bit hard to see right now, but now we've got the option that we can bore sight this. So for station seven, we're going to click on bore sight now. It's highlighted, it's saved, and that's it. TMS aft short, and that's it for station seven. Let's hop over to station three, and let's do the uh, let's do the exact same thing. Let's start slowing the Maverick. We already saw it on the right MFD. Let's go to FOV mode and slow it right there. Looks about right, and maybe a little, just a tad, just something like that. Looks about right. All right. So once we've got that, team us up short. BSGT for bore side, it's saved and TMS aft short. You can come out of uh, FOV field of view, um, and that's it basically. So now you get um, the bore side alignment done on ground. What we are going to do now is we are still on AG mode. Uh, we're going to stow everything back to normal. So let's go to Smith, turn the power off the Maverick. For takeoff configuration, and uh, the TGP on the on the left MFD2. So let's go to AG and then standby, and let's bring everything back into taxi configuration. Disable or turn the ground jettison to off. Master on off, and back to AA twice. Oh, we're good. I'm ready for taxi. I'll use the parking brake and uh, take a look around. Everything's good and set. All right. Well, I'm going to see you up in air. Let's hunt some tanks. So here we are, approaching our IP point and turning into our target area on uh, Siri Island. And um, let's go ahead and fence it. So let's turn must arm on, verify laser arm is on in case we need it. And uh, let's turn the lights out. All right, so let's hop over to uh, air to ground mode and um, bring up the TGP, turn it on. Air ground mode. There we go. And cost of zero. There we go. And um, we're going to turn on our Mavericks if not happened already. So right now the Maverick is uh, cooling down again. Okay, so here we are again. Now the IR display of the Maverick Seeker head is um, online. It's cooled down and ready. So what we're going to do is we throw the TGP into auto mode. So the handoff is going to give you an auto lock on that system too. And you can rifle off the, the Maverick as soon as you got a lock. So I, as I said, I, uh, I offset the jet over to the right hand side of Siri Island. We're gonna roll in. Flying as smooth as gentle helps to gyros to get accurate. Okay. 
I'll give it a little dive angle here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to FOV Maverick and I'm going to TMS up short, TMS forward short, and as you can see, we have a lock and rifle. Off to the left hand side, because the TGP is located on the right hand hard point, and we can watch that um, Maverick go in. And that is a shack. Right where it's supposed to be. Alright. So let's uh, come around for another um, attack run. First off, I'm gonna go Team S aft short to go in iron hour mode again, so the teapot is looking at the same location when I uh, turn around and the pot gets masked. Yeah, let's turn around. Okay, here we are rolling in to the target area again, and let's take a closer look. I'm gonna TMS right, I'm gonna take that tank over there, and TMS forward short, and we get a lock. And one more time, rifle. Coming off to the left. And that was uh, the other station that was uh, Borside line before, and it looks like that station is doing a great job too. At Shack, another T72. So, this is it basically. You um, just gotta remember that you um, better align the, the bore side of the Maverick um, when you ram start uh, the Viper. That is uh, kind of very important that the system is working correctly. Uh, unlike if you're um, air start the jet, so you're flying over uh, an area already and you jump into the jet, it's going to be a little bit different. Um, things are going to be set up correctly and uh, the bore site seems to work better there. Um, nevertheless, um, what you can do always is you do not necessarily have to do that in round. You can do that in air too. So let's say you are on a mission run and you're um, bore site aligning your maverick system in flight. You can do that. So you just gotta find a reference point, uh, put the TGP on it and just do the same process with your um, alignment. Alright guys, so I hope that um, helped you out a lot, that you now get a video that explains the boresight alignment including how to use the uh, AGM 65D, the Delta variant, as well as the, uh, what is it, the other one with the bigger warhead, of course both of the IR systems um, are working the same way. Uh, the only difference is there is one bigger warhead and one smaller warhead, I think the Delta version got the smaller warhead and um, this is it basically. So if you uh, like that video just leave me a, a like on that video and subscribe my channel that's going to help me a lot and um, there's nothing more to say than uh, I wish you a happy new year already so because it's late December 2020 and um, see you all next time. Bye!